So hi everybody and welcome back. We are back today with a new frame from Diatone Innovations and this is the Diatone, I will show it in the video, the Diatone Lissat 180 carbon fiber frame from Diatone Innovations. So this is really nice and uh, I'm really looking forward to take a look at this. So let's see what we got here. So let's put it out. This is a 180 size frame as the name indicates and well it looks quite a bit different from your regular frames of this size. So first you can see that there is this, this massive bottom plate here. It is really massive, it's probably, let's take a look. Oh, well, it's not that massive. It's about yeah, 2.5 millimeters. So it's a 2.5 millimeters uh, bottom plate, but it, 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 it really feels like more than that. Yeah, it's 2.5 millimeters, but it really feels massive. It really feels like uh, you won't be able to, to really crash it or destroy it unless you try really hard, since it's also so well, rather big and rather unusual in design for a 100, 180 size frame, but well, I kind of like it. Let's take some close up photos of this here. So as you can see, this is also quite nice with regards to the finish. So yeah, it, it looks quite nice. So these frames are getting better and better these days. And this is no exception. But this really looks nice. Let's put it down again and check of course, as we always do, if this is true carbon fiber. But I'm actually not really worried about this. So let's take a look here and yes, you can see it on the multimeter. This is of course true carbon fiber. It also comes with a top plate here. As you can see, this is probably mounted that way. We will of course build it up later on. This top plate is not quite as massive as the bottom plate, but it doesn't need to. So this is just a one millimeter. Yeah, about one millimeter top plate, as you can see. So as I told you, this is not quite as massive as the bottom plate, but this is still nice. And what else do we have here? We uh, have here these, these isolation uh, spacers, which are of course to prevent the PDP, which is also included. Uh, from touching the carbon fiber here. So let's take a look at the PDP itself. And we will of course do a close up again. So this is the PDP. As you can see, it provides five volts here. So it's a PDP to provide five volts, which is actually all we need. So you would put that out of that, of course, and then you can nicely mount it uh, to your bottom plate. So this is nice. It's it also it's version 3.1 as to say and it's it feels very lightweight I have to say so even uh, with these things around it it feels very lightweight and let's take just take a quick look at that because I'm curious and we can see this this comes in at five grams if we would peel this out, let's do that. So let's take get this out of that. And once you do that, it comes in at two grams. So that's almost nothing. I think it's it's even too light for my weight, but yeah, it's zero and let's check it. Yeah, so it, it's it's barely recognizable for my for my scales. 
so this is this is really nice this pdp here so what else do we have here we of course have this uh, spacers here this plastic spacers and the, the screws to to actually uh, build this and some more screws uh, plastic screws which uh, we will probably use to mount this pdp <clears throat> so this is nice uh, what we will uh, do next is take a look at the weight of these components so let's first check out this bottom plate here which comes in at 49.50 grams and then the top plate which adds almost nothing so we arrive at 55 grams and then the PDP here which gets us to 58 grams and let's put this stuff here we will not need everything of that because they usually include more screws than needed but let's put that on here all of it <coughs> and you can see we arrive at at 70 grams for the complete frame with all for the bare frame with all the stuff it comes with what we will do next is of course we build it up to see what it looks like when it's built up and we will of course do that again in a time-lapse uh, video so that you can watch me So we have now built up this frame, uh, of course only the bare frame, I have not yet included the BDB which would come in here, so I can show it this to you in the close up. So as you can see the BDB would probably come in here, uh, screwed down with these plastic screws and also with uh, some of these isolation spaces in between to avoid the BDB touching the carbon fiber but what we can see is it's a quite interesting frame it looks quite uh, different from the norm uh, it, it looks interesting I also actually have something more here ah let me click this yeah so they also provided some new diatom props, props here so these are actually uh, three inch props no I won't use them but the diatom also provided other props here uh, four inch props quickly find them oh yeah there they are so they provided some props here which I will probably also try to use with this frame as you can see these are four times 4.5 inch props we will take a, a close up look here at then these are probably new props from diatone they are very stiff so they are really nice we will try them out in this build of course and yeah this is probably what this frame is made for so you can see these four inch props will fit very nicely so let's take a look again at the at the weight of this frame and we can see it comes in at just 60 grams so this is really nice this is really lightweight uh, of course we will have then later on to add the PDP which is also very lightweight so we are at 63 grams now and of course all the other components which we need but all in all this is a really nice frame it looks really nice it looks really interesting and it also seems to be quite stiff one would have to, to take a look at how to mount the board cam here I will try to figure that out uh, the best way to do this well and other than that it's a really nice frame so there are so many nice frames coming out lately it's really hard hard to choose 
Uh, anyways, I hope you liked this video. I hope that I could give you a bit of an impression of this frame. Well, if you liked it, please let me know. Please leave a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. And I'm looking forward to see you soon.